in this video, I'm gonna give you the best $10 comic book investment you can make, and it's coming up. Hey guys, this is Brown with Superman's Comics, and in this video, I'm gonna give you a review of BCW's comic book store folio. Now, I did a review for this a while back, a year or two ago on my channel, and it was for the older version. They have updated the version since then. This is the older version right here. This is the one I did the review on. I figured it was time for an update review because that one was short, didn't provide too much detail. So BCW, they were nice enough to provide me with 10 of these store folios to show you during this review. They did tell me, hey, these products are for you to review, but you are not a spokesman for us. So please review it honestly and provide feedback you don't have to speak highly of the product that we give you to review. With that being said, this is hands down one of my favorite products and for good reason. It's cheap and I'm gonna tell you why during the review, why I love this product. Here's the older one, right? It's got a pocket here so you can put, this piece of paper comes out if you wanted to, you can put your own piece of paper in here. A lot of times I would take these to comic cons and I would just write on the, back side of it bags and boards because I'd have one that just had bags and boards in it and Then I'd have one that had comics in it that I wanted to get graded or signed So then when I pulled it out of my book bag or whatever I could just look right here or right on the spine and see what was in the box without having to open it up and look at it So it does have the pocket here and if you were to open it up, you could put something here in the spine as well This version as you can see the flap on it. It was velcro sealed and the newer version that they've come out with, right? This is the newer version here, pretty much same design, but there's some good additional changes that they made that I really like on it. And this is the current and silver version. Same thing, it's got the pocket on the front so you can put your own artwork in there and or on the spine. But this one, if you look at the older one here, the flap stops right here on the top, right? The newer version, it now wraps completely around and it's no longer Velcro, it's actually magnetic. So you don't get that ripping noise and it's magnetic, it's just easy to open, opens right up. And of course you have the spot there to put your comic books in. So I do like that detail. This is what they call their evergreen, their basic version. You could get it on their website for about 10 bucks. I will put a link in the description of this video where you can find all these products that I'm showing you. However, BCW does also recommend that you check with your local comic book store because a lot of them provide these products as well. But the link will be in the description not only for this one, but they also carry magazine size ones as well. So why do I like these? There's multiple reasons for these. Cheap, $10 like I said, you take them to cons, it definitely, this is like the best protection, the best lowest cost insurance policy you can have to transport comics to and from wherever. Like I said, I take some of these to Comic Cons. I put bags and boards or ones to buy for comics that I buy at the con. I can slip them right in here, put it in my book bag. Don't have to worry about it getting all messed around, getting spine ticks, getting uh, dents, getting creases. Put it in here and it's, and it's protected. I also keep one of these in my car with blank bags and boards. So when I go to my LCS or my local comic book store on Wednesdays, my comic book store doesn't bag and board all their comics and they charge a quarter for each. So I take bags and boards with me, save that quarter, go ahead and bag and board them there. Once I buy them, I put them in the store folio. That way they're protected to the car and then from the car to my house, then into my comic room until I get them into a short box or a long box. So can't say enough good things about this product. A lot of people that have been collecting comics are well aware of it and they have multiple multiple purchases of this and for good reason. You can also use it if you want, didn't want to use a short box, long box. You could use these if you had a smaller collection maybe to keep your comics in here and just store them up on a shelf. Now I will tell you this one with the modern bagged and boarded, I can comfortably store 14 or so depending on the thickness. I would honestly say between 12 to 15. I've put 15 in one, but it starts getting a little snug and that's where you might, depending on how you feel, you might start getting worried about how the comics are in there. Well, they're starting to get smooshed or they're starting to get creases, but yes, 12 to 15 comfortably in each one of these, and that's for the modern 
normal sized. I'm not talking about the giant sized comics and stuff like that, but 12 to 15 definitely will fit in one of these. So I've shown you what they call their evergreen one. The evergreen one stays on their site forever. That's their base product, but they also have different designed ones as well. Starting with some of the more basic ones. There's one here that has just kind of your normal comic graphic word bubble panel that's front and back and even on the spine um, you got the bang if you wanted to you could write your own words in the word bubble but it's somewhat basic i'll say exact same design as all the others as far as how it works they got the magnet the flap that goes completely over opens up and then of course you get we'll put your box your your books in there i never put unbagged and border books in here you could put those in here i guess but you're really not getting the same protection as if they were bagged and boarded before you put them in here. So I would highly recommend you store bagged and boarded books in here and not just normal, but in a crunch, you could definitely do that. Next up, especially like I said before, you're storing it on a bookshelf. They do have some of these that look kind of, it's got solid colors, kind of like a marble type finish, but they are designed to kind of almost look like books on a shelf. If you look at the uh, top and bottom, and then of course the one side of the spine here, it's solid blue, same thing, open it up. And then of course the inside kind of looks like the inside of a book cover and same thing as storage. The next one they have also that they sent me is similar to the one I just showed you. And it's a brown one like this, kind of like that tan leather finish look to it. It's not actually leather finish, but it has that look to it. And the same thing again on there, this one's got a little lightning bolt on it and kind of, Again, it gives you that look that it's an actual book. And if you open it up, same thing, the inside to this one. And same, and a silica pack. So I do like that they put the silica packs in there because it keeps that moisture out. Um, you wouldn't want to get one before even books have in it. And the next thing, there's moisture, some type of mildew or residue in there. So that definitely helps. This one, this next one I'm gonna show you is actually really cool. It's got a different kind of finish on it and it's plain white. And this one you could actually use, you could take to a con, take to a signing, and actually get sketches done on it. Or you could sketch on it yourself. Me, I don't have the artistic ability to do so, but if you do, you could definitely do it. I would get one of these, maybe take it to a con, get one of my favorite artists to do a little sketch on it, or get multiple artists to do sketches on it, because people carry sketchbooks, you could have a sketch portfolio. Now, me personally, once I got it sketched, I probably wouldn't, take it to and from Comic Cons anymore. I'd probably put it up somewhere because I wouldn't want the sketches to get messed up. But this is a unique design. I'm glad they thought of it. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that would be interested to get something like this and then have sketches put on it. So in addition to those, they also have store folios that have comic prints on it, which is really cool. Now they're a little bit higher in price. That price also depends on the license of the comic printing that they have put on the boxes. But on their site, if you look at it, I've noticed they're between 16 to $18. And then if you buy 10 or more, that price drops down drastically. And BCW also is free shipping once you hit $80. So that's definitely one thing to keep aware of. Uh, if you're buying those and if you buy more than store folios, BCW has a bunch of different comic supplies between top loaders, comic book bins. So you can save on shipping, buy some store folios, some other comic supplies, hit that $80 threshold and then get free shipping on top of it. I've done it before, especially with comic book bins, but I want to make sure that you're aware that they do offer free shipping. So the first of these printed ones I want to show you is this Walking Dead store folio. It's got a full wrap around. I got, go ahead and open it up got full wrap around on it and then it's got even more art on the inside which is pretty cool and then of course same thing same design all these are designed the same as I said before but this print is really cool and there's a lot of Walking Dead fans out there that I could see would be interested in something like this and another cool one for Walking Dead fans is they got the Negan one this is right off the second print from the cover um, I forget what issue it was it's been a while but it's got Negan on the front and you got the back here like so. And of course, if you open it up, you'll have where it just has a Walking Dead print on there. And then this would be another cool one, like they have the sketch one, but if you were to take this to a con, like Charlie Adlard or someone, or uh, Kirkman was there, you could get them maybe to sign it, maybe do a little sketch on the inside. I mean, multiple purposes for it. And if you're a fan of Valiant, they also have an Exo Man of War one. This is really nice, really nice design. It's got the Valiant logo on the spine here. Same with on the front flip cover and then the Man of War art on the front and on the back. 
And then if you open it up again, you got, you got the Valiant logo right here. Some more artwork on the inside. So these are really cool. I like these designs. All depends on your taste, of course, whether you want the basic one or start scaling up if you want the ones that look like books. One that just looks like a little comic book uh, panel cover. There's another cool one here. And that is, they got this Jenny Friesen Red Sonja cover. This I think this is from Red Sonja number four, if I'm not mistaken. But it's got the Jenny Friesen Red Sonja art on the front and the back. And then of course it has the Red Sonja logo on the flip cover and of course on the spine. And this is also really, really cool. If you open it up this way, it's got the whole art coming top to bottom all the way through. So that's cool. Jenny Friesen's definitely a, a popular artist right now. I've been actually buying a bunch of these older Red Sonja covers from her. So this would be one that I'm definitely interested in and I really like this one. Keeping with that, there's another Dynamite comic cover and if you're a fan of Vampirella or J. Scott Campbell, they have a J. Scott Campbell Vampirella one. It's got the front on here, same with on the back. Similar design to the Red Sonja one. Both of those comics are published by Dynamite. So same thing on the flap cover, you got the Vampirella logo. Vampirella on the spine. And then similar to the Red Sonja, you have a Vampirella art here. So that's really cool. Of course, that's actually, that's actually Jenny Friesen's art there on the front, on, on the inside too. That, I didn't realize that at first, but that's pretty cool. I will let you know that the printed ones are limited. They won't stay on the site forever. So if you do want them, make sure you buy them while they're available. They also have new designs coming up. They have three new designs coming in June, as a matter of fact. I don't know what those designs are, but that is what they told me. I really like the printed design store folios, but like I said before, they're a couple dollars more because they have to pay for the licensing fee to put the art on those store folios. That's what they sent me. If you are using one of these store folios, comment down below, let me know what you guys think about it. Do you like them as much as I do? Cause like I said, for $10 up to $15 or so, can't beat the price, especially for the insurance you're protecting your comic books with. Also, of all the designs that I showed you, which one is your favorite? Put that in the comments below. And as I said before, there is a link in the description to BCW's website where you can purchase these, but they also recommend that you definitely check out your local comic book store. If your local comic book store doesn't carry them or doesn't carry the one you like, ask them. I'm sure they could probably order it for you and get it in. But either way, I highly recommend, if you don't have one of these yet, you pick one up. Or two, if you buy them in bulk and get a discount, definitely look into doing that. Do a group buy with some friends, but this is one product that I can't say enough good things about. There's a reason why I did a review earlier on my channel. I'm glad I'm able to do an updated one now. There will be some more BCW products that I will be reviewing on my channel. We're gonna be doing one a month for five months. So make sure you subscribe and click that bell notification so you don't miss any of those videos. So if you like this portfolio and you like this video, make sure you click that thumbs up button for me. This is Brian with Superman's Comics, guys, and thanks for watching.